हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्लिनिकल बायो केमिस्ट्री में डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एंटीजेनिक शिफ्ट एंड एंटीजेनिक ड्रिफ्ट व्हाट इज एंटीजेनिक शिफ्ट एंड व्हाट इज एंटीजेनिक ड्रिफ्ट इफ यू विल सी द बेसिक डिफरेंस बेसिक लिटरल मीनिंग ऑफ दिस एंटीजेनिक शिफ्ट एंड ड्रिफ्ट इज द एंटीजेनिक ड्रिफ्ट इज अ काइंड ऑफ जेनेटिक वेरिएशन स्पेशली इन द वायरसेस व्हिच कम्स फ्रॉम द एक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ स्मॉल स्मॉल म्यूटेशंस so whenever a small mutations uh, occurs and these mutations normally accumulate in a single virus and ultimately it is uh, going to have a antigenic variations so that is called as antigenic drift uh, whereas antigenic shift is normally it is a little bit more uh, kind of change where two or more than two different uh, viruses are going to combine together and ultimately gives us a new kind of viruses so that is anti basic uh, antigenic shift and drift so if you see the basic uh, definition is antigenic drift normally it involves the accumulation of the series of minor genetic mutations so a small mutations occurs in the genes and that ultimately accumulate and comes with the new antigenic component in the same viruses so uh, there uh, we don't have a different kind of uh, virus it is a same virus where antigenic variations occurs whereas antigenic shift is a major changes and this involves normally mixing of genes from the influenza viruses from different species so where two or more than two different species going to combine together and ultimately we will have a new kind of viruses so uh, one by one we will see and then we will come to the differences antigenic drift that is a gradual evolution you can call it uh, so antigenic drift is a slow process and it is a continuous process it occurs and that results in the minor changes in the surface protein of virus especially a uh, common example is influenza virus where they are having the two surface protein that is hemagglutinin ha and neuraminidase na normally in these two uh, antigenic uh, protein which is present on the surface there we are having a variations these proteins are the normally the primary target for our uh, immunological cells or immunological responses so our immune system normally recognizes these antigenic components because virus have the changes in this protein so these whenever virus reproduce normally these changes have slightly or minor variations mutations over the time when these uh, small mutations accumulates and ultimately leads to the antigenic change in the antigenic property so these proteins come uh, have a variation so it will be a new kind of proteins and these proteins are immune system does not able to recognize it and so overall this is the process called which is called as antigenic drift so ultimately what is going to happen our immune system with the which immune system we have which recognizes the uh, earlier uh, ha or na or hemagglutin or neuraminidase now they are not able to recognize the new or mutated protein so that because of this one only and this is a seasonal flu vaccines we are have to take regularly or every year we are going to take these various vaccines because of antigenic drift uh, every year this influenza virus have some or more variations and because of that one our earlier vaccines or earlier immune immune uh, cells not able to recognize or not able to work properly against this influenza virus and that is because of antigenic drift when we are going to see antigenic shift that is a dramatic uh, assortment so antigenic shift is a sudden and more dramatic event that occurs when two or different influenza virus often mainly from the two different species infect the same host same cells at the same time so uh, two or more than two different influenza virus going to infect the same host same cells at the same time then this antigenic shift occurs and because of this one um, during this process the segment of the genetic material can distort leading to the creation of a novel virus and that will have a unique combination of uh, hemagglutinin and not neuraminidase proteins so ultimately it will be a new kind of species you can call it because of this resulting virus uh, process antigens that are significant different from the which earlier previously existing and it is a completely new protein so antigenic shift is responsible for the emergence of normally pandemic Uh, strain such as in uh, in famous 1918 h1n1 uh, influ and the more recent h1n1 or h5n5 outbreak but uh, if you'll see uh, these antigenic shift normally pandemic does not occurs too properly 
um, what why uh, means uh, they don't uh, occurs or process do not lead to the pandemic why this doesn't progress but you have seen that uh, same time same two different virus need to infect the same host at the same time so uh, in for human uh, normally uh, this does not occurs like if you will see the example like uh, human virus or the bird flu virus normally if they are going to inf co infect the pig cells so both uh, influenza virus from the human as well as from the uh, bird need to infect the pig at the same time so that time it may occurs now if you see the picture uh, this in this case uh, this is the antigenic shift where uh, two different virus are going to combine together two or more different type of virus going to combine together and ultimately we are going to have a new type of virus so which will have a different kind of antigenic component from different cells but in the case of antigenic drift we are having a minor variation in the antigenic protein so this is the same virus which is having the protein are going to be mutated in this case the combination of proteins from the different viruses uh, ultimately we will have a new subtype in this case the same virus but we are going to have a minor variation in their proteins so this is the basic difference between antigenic shift and antigenic drift now if we'll see one by one what is the basic difference between antigenic shift and drift antigenic shift is the uh, refers to the gene recombination occurs when influenza virus resort means in this case two or more influenza virus from different uh, organism different uh, host going to in co infect same host same cell at the same time then antigenic shift occurs antigenic drift uh, this is the mutation causing the minor changes uh, especially in the surface protein like ha on na hemagglutinin or neuraminidase and uh, in that case normally we are going to have a minor variation minor mutation in these proteins now antigenic shift that is resulting from the genome reassortment between the different subtypes whereas antigenic drift occurs because of the small point mutations which is going to be cumulative and ultimately going to cause what is the result in uh, in case of antigenic shift it normally results from a new subtype like two uh, different subtypes combined together and ultimately we will have a new subtype formations whereas in case of antigenic drift we are not going to have a new subtype but the, we are having a new strain of the virus having the mutated proteins antigenic shift normally the change is sudden and drastic uh, because it is a completely combination or recombination where two or different viruses are there in case of antigenic drift we don't have drastic changes it is a gradual changes and slowly it occurs and ultimately we are going to have the same as genome changes if you'll see the la uh, large changes occurs in the nucleotide of rna in case of antigenic shift because combination of uh, rna from two or more than two different uh, virus uh, viral strain will be there in case of antigenic drift we are going to have the minor mutation a small mutation or the point mutation uh, so some of the proteins are going to be mutated in case of antigenic shift uh, more one or more different, different virus are going to be involved uh, in case of antigenic shift because their genes going to be recombined together in case of antigenic shift only one virus are going to uh, means is going to involve and only their genes are going to be mutated uh, relatedness of the new virus the new forms of subtype produced uh, which bears no similarity to the previous strain in case of antigenic shift because it is the recombina recombinant product in case of antigenic drift uh, the strain which is going to be produced by antigenic drift are somehow or mostly similar to the pre earlier existing strains only minor changes will be there the host range in case of antigenic shift is uh, it may jump from one species to the another species like instance is animal to human or human to animal or bird to human whereas in case of antigenic drift uh, no host uh, jumping will be there so it may infect animal of the same species only the antigen changes if you'll see in case of antigenic shift the virus requires completely new antigens uh, because of the recombination reassortment between the avian strains or the human strains whereas in case of antigenic drift the antigens are only going to be mutated it is not going to be completely changed which type of virus are going to involve in case of antigenic shift or drift in case of antigenic shift only influenza virus a involved in case of ant ant antigenic drift influenza virus a b c all the three different types of virus are going to evolve and ultimately leads to 
uh, whenever this antigenic shift occurs it may occurs to pandemic and antigenic drift it normally leads to epidemics the treatment option is because antigenic shift it is a completely new virus a new entity so difficult to treat it needs new kind of vaccine a eh, because new proteins will be there new genes will be there a uh, new species is there antigenic drift only uh, it is easy to treat and antibodies and drugs are available which can easily treat it if you see the susceptibility everybody is susceptible to the virus after the antigenic drift shift and a novel influenza may thus spread uncontrollably whereas in case of antigenic drift some people may still be immune or some other are partially immune or for to the new strain so this is all about the difference between the antigenic shift and drift hope you understand it if you have not uh, uh, if you have any question any comments you can write in the comment box if you are not subscribe my channel you can subscribe it thank you very much have a nice day